Good enough. Boys, how's she going? How are you now? I mean, <laughs> pet calves, petting the calf. Anyway, so what we're doing today is we are just uh, trying to scrape some of this freaking rough shit out of here. Sorry for the jitterness, but I gotta try to get her on that gate here. Um, anyways, trying to get uh, some of the shit scraped out of here, and uh, then I can re-bed it in here because I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move the bowls over, and that way the cows can drink and not crawl, and uh, hopefully that way we can uh, bed them. Well, I gotta get back to the ship piles out of both because it's rough in here. Hard on her feet, frozen poop. But anyways, I'm going to scrape out the shit out. What I can anyways, and then re-bed this pen and the other pen. But I want to, uh, we got to bed this pen first, where I'm digging the stuff out here right now. And that way, I can move the bowls over and uh, and that way I can bed the other pen before the cows come in too so but I guess if I don't that's not a big deal because I think we're probably gonna leave them out yet for another week we'll probably feed them once yet out in the field yet and then we'll probably bring them up and then that way a guy can uh, have a closer look at them getting closer to calving here so or you just fucking don't even check them and let them die i guess you could do that too if you wanted to but whatever you know i don't know i like having calves that live or cows that live not that fuckers freeze to death and stuff so you know it is a there's a good chunk of money out the fucking old pocket if you uh lose a few to death freeze to death or whatever the case may be but um anyway I got probably another bucket or so in here and then that's probably gonna be good enough to spread out what I got and uh yeah so I'll bring you back when I get the bill processor backed in here and get this pen bedded so we'll see you in a bit all right so look at that pretty picture you guys ho oh, ho oh! Old Bobby Crone, he'd be fucking happy with that picture right here. Anyway, we are going to uh, come over here. We'll probably grab a canary seed bale. Wow, is that bright? Uh, and uh, just dump it in the processor, then I don't have to come out back here with it. But So I guess that'll be the plan for now. So let's just uh, open old Grappella here and uh, see if we can't dig a bale out without tipping this old girl in this deep snow here. She's quite deep. There we go. I can pick her up like that. And that should work because then I can set it on the side and then uh, pick it up after. Oh, she is a little bit tippy, the old girl. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'll pick it up like, oh, I want it cylindrical side. So it'll be something like this.
Something like that. There we go. And now we'll just keep backing her up. And get her spun around here. Fuck, this is hard with one hand. Not used to it. One hand in her. And that way all these top row of bales will be used up, at least from here back. Those ones aren't bad, they still got decent strings, but all the ones on here are quite shitty yet, so. Anyways, all we're gonna do now is we'll come in this way to it. I gotta watch where the kids are playing on the bales or someplace. So we're just gonna pick it up like this. And uh, that way I can drop it right into the old processor. So I guess I'll see you when I get over there. Okay boys, we got her dumped in the top there. And uh, I'm gonna go back down into that corral now. And we'll chop that bale up in there. If I got any left, I'll put it in the one where the bulls are a little bit, so. Anyways, we'll see you in a bit here. Okay boys, take this whiny fucker out of reverse. And uh, anyways, we got backed in here. That's where we're gonna blow and then just drive right out. But I'm gonna try and video it if I can. So let's fucking throw the old PTO in the gear. There we go. I like that. So we rev her up. We're gonna take the advantage of the fucking wind here a little bit. And uh, see if we can't blow this bale up. Grab the twines and then she'll go. There we go. Come on. Frozen bales. There we go. That's pretty good. Working not so bad. There we go. I like that one. Give them nice fucking thick beds. All the frozen shit on there. There we go. Well, that makes her snort. Look at the smoke on the old bitch. It's only got one break, so she's quite the contraption. So we'll see you in a bit there. Okay, well, I got her blown out. Um, the fucking bale, I had it setting, like you seen when I picked it up, it was sitting this way. And it was froze right through to the middle. But it seemed to chop up pretty nice, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go out there and see if I can uh, move some cows out of the way. Then I can get those panels moved over. And then I can move the bulls over. And then I can lock the cows out still. And then uh, bring another bale and bed the other pen to the other side. This is an old goat pen here, what we had before. But I think Ashley said she wants to take it down here this summer, so that'll be nice. And then I want to get rid of all that shit other than the sheds. Um, it's going to be all steel here pretty soon, so that'll be real nice. But if 
fuck, the old fan just noisy? Oh, girl. Fuck you, Greta. Old 1070. Oh! Anyways, so what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna try and scare those cows away and uh, shut that gate at the back and uh, see what a fucking door can steal. There's no valuables in there. <laughs> so anyway, the cows are out here. I gotta get them back into the alleyway and uh, then I can close that panel off and bring the bulls back from that way around into this corral here. So anyways, I'll get these guys out of here and then I'll bring you back. Okay guys. Got bale number two going to go in here right away. Well, it won't be in this this pen. This pen's done. With all these horny little bastards. Hey, tornado. Huh. Nice little bull calf. Hey. So anyway, this is a bull pen now. Uh, these guys aren't quite a year yet. That big black guy over there is a year. He was born in January last year. Here's Wilson. This guy, we named him after uh, my grandpa. He uh, he was born the day my grandpa died last year in February. So, Red Deep Lake Wilson, that's his Angus paper name. So, little story there for you. That guy over there is just a steer because his mom was fucking mental. So we took his nuts. And there is... That little guy, I think that guy right there, I think he's a steer too, but he was uh, pretty skinny, that little guy there. He mostly bone, so maybe all these other bulls are for sale here, so. Okay, now, I was gonna tell you these, so now this pen is bedded, so the bulls can go here. I moved them from Tornado, what do you know today? Anybody? See, nice little guy. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking getting rambunctious here. Probably this open heifer right here. There's rosies in there, too. But anyway, so I'm going to take a bale and we're going to chop it in that pen now. And then I can let the cows come up there to drink. So that's the plan. Fuck, it's windy out. Still not cold out though. It's well, it's cool, but it's not cold. So anyway, we will uh, try to go get some straw in that other pen before somebody gets pushy and breaks out. So we'll see you in a bit. So anyways, I put my cabin light on, and uh, I'll show you this pen before I spread a bale in here. So that's that water bowl I changed. Now. Here's my cabin shed. There's nothing fancy in here. I gotta clean out the shit yet, but that's just not too bad. I'll just probably scrape it with the bucket and put some fresh bedding, but. So I got these bird chip panels. There's two here, one there, and one there. And I made these panels so that they collapse on the end. They can actually slide back and forth. I'll show you when I, uh, get these pens set up, but I usually set up four pens in here. And if I got a calf that needs a pole, or a cow that needs a pole or a heifer or whatever, I'll rope them and tie them to that fucking railroad tie and then pull the calf out, as usually what I do, unless they're laying down. But I gotta fix that door, and that goes over to the bull side too, so that's gotta be fixed here pretty quick. But I got the gate shut, so it's not a real big issue right away, because I gotta bring, uh, straw in by the bucket full to get in here. I can't get the bell processor in here. So, last year, or I was just thinking of putting a, a tarp on some two by fours, screw the two by fours with some pulleys, and then I can lower it up and down like a door, help block some wind, but it's not too bad in here. We usually don't get too much wind out of the north, and if we do, the corral's not too bad for blocking the wind. So anyways, boys, like I was trying to say, Here's the pen where we put the cows. Right at uh, when we start calving, just in case. 
and then we can use this shed if we have to and we can also run them through the alley here through the back and uh, go in through that gate and then we'll go up and in, into the other barn so we got lots of places to calve I know there's a few of you guys asking about uh, what do we have for shelters and stuff so there's one and then there's a little one on the other side there so anyway I gotta get this out of here and I'm gonna chop this bale so we'll see you in a bit here okay guys next time I do this I'm gonna see if Ashley can video it and then uh, you can see the old girl chop these up but actually this draw here was actually uh, combined with a rotary combine so it's not real real good bedding but it works I use what I got like I said some of these fucking canary straw bales are like oh shit I would say four years old or something like that so I'm gonna have to cut the twines now but anyway look at the shit here so this frozen stuff now I need to get it down in by the hammers and it's like the outside of the bale or whatever is stuck on here so I'm gonna try to flip that into the middle and then we can uh, run that through too so we'll see you in a few there okay as you can see we got her empty so it's pretty good bedded I don't know I'll uh, shut you off here I'll pull the tracker out and uh, We'll go let those cows over here. And once they're in here, and then I can make sure uh, there's enough. I'm probably gonna have to bring a bit more up in here, but fuck whatever. For now, it's good enough. So, anyway, I'll see you in a bit when I uh, get the tractor out so I don't run over the post. Okay, so we got that gate shut. We got the uh, shed gate shut. Um, gonna go over here behind these bulls and <coughs> swing this panel over like so. And then we'll go and let these cows come back into here and that way they can all come and get a drink watch out you guys watch out watch out get out the way you don't have to leave but get out of the way back up you dumb black don't you just love it when you're in the dark never fails eh it's always try to be make some progress here next thing you know it's dark out okay come on come on girls come on come on old babies come on Rosie I can see you come on anyway they'll come up Come on! I just have to swing this panel over a little bit more so that I can tie that gate to it. And I don't get anybody getting any crazy ideas. Try to go down the alleyway. So, I guess I'll do this here. Oh, here comes Rosie. If Rosie's coming, the rest will come. Holy shit. Okay, I need two hands, so I'll be back in a minute. Here they come. Here they come. Come on. Come on, barn. Big old barn. Oh, there's the rainer cow. Oh, yeah, get going. 440. Old black ones here. Oh, there's a U2 cow. I miss half of them, but anyways. That's it. So, I guess there we go. I'll leave that like that. I better check, make sure everything is uh, pinned up over here. Be 
before. Shit gets crazy. Okay, so, yeah, she's in there. These are all tied shut. That one's chained to the panel. That panel's over there, good. So now they got the alleyway to the field, pasture, whatever. And this is all good here. Nice. All right. Let's go have a look at these old girls. I'm sure the bulls will be yelling for days. Now that they're up close to the cows again. Hey boys. What do you think boys? Wilson. Good and you? Oh yeah. Were you fighting today? Hey. Focus. Ferdinand. You big bugger. <laughs> ah, these two... Two steers right here. We gotta ship these two guys. This black guy and that little red guy here. They gotta go on the next bus so we don't have to feed them all winter. But I guess get some light shut off in here. We don't need these on. <sighs> Holy fucking birds! Come on! There. Alrighty. There we go, everybody's bedded, fed, they got a bale here. I'm gonna have to feed the bulls a bale here later, but whatever, that's good enough for now. I think Ashley said supper's gonna be ready right away. Look at all the straw in here, holy fuck that's thick. Maybe they'll kick this around, that'd be nice. I should've maybe went in a little bit further, but whatever, fuck it, they'll kick it around. All right. Get the hell out of here. Time for supper. Let's get this chain done up. Actually, that doesn't even need gloves. She's quite nice out. Oh, come on. Okay. Everything's a battle today. In this frickin' wind. There. There we go. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go have supper. Park this old girl. And, uh... Uh... And go have supper, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'll feed, the uh, Feed the bulls a bale, so... That's what we'll do next. Oh, and my lights are working nice. Okay, see you later. Alrighty guys, I was putting my video together here on my deal and uh, just realized I didn't do an ending. So, just make her short and sweet here. Just out checking cows. I might, uh, I want to put the light on here in the barn or the cabin shed and the freaking goats unplugged the wire. So, anyways, I guess. All the cows look all right for tonight in this pen anyways. I haven't checked these guys yet. I think the bulls are fucking wrestling. Anyway, I dropped a green feed oat bale in with them the other day after my video. So big black guys are fighting. That's kind of neat. Oh, trying to mount them. Fucking gay bulls. Anyway... I guess. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. So take care, boys. Thanks for watching. See you later.